Crystallize is a fast GraphQL-based headless e-commerce service. And in this video, we'll be taking a look at how easy it is for us to get started with Crystallize in just the span of a few minutes. We'll be taking a look at how we can set up a project using React Next.js, adding payment methods such as Stripe, and lastly, how we can deploy our project to production using Zite now. In order to get started using Crystallize, we first need to create a tenant. And a tenant is our account, our store essentially something that we can add products and other content to, and then we can fetch that data via the GraphQL API. And we can create a Crystallize account by heading on over to crystallize.com and clicking on the Create Account button. Here you can click on Beam Me Up Scotty, and you'll be prompted to log in with either your Google or Facebook account. Once you've signed up, you'll be taken to the Create a Tenant page. Here you can set the name and the identifier for your tenant. We'll be using the identifier in our GraphQL queries to fetch all of the products and other data for our store once we've set up a project. Once your tenant has been created, you'll be taken to the Product Information Management Systems homepage. And now if you open up the navigation on the left-hand side, you'll see a few different options for pages that we can go to, such as the catalog, the grids, topics, etc. Now, because we're just getting started playing around with Crystallize, we just want to add in a few test products that we can query and that we'll be able to purchase within our custom web store. And so to add in a test product, head on over to the catalog page and click on create in the bottom left-hand corner. Here you have the option to create a product and just name it something like test product or whatever you prefer to name it. Click on create and then you can fill in any of the data as you as you wish. I'm just going to leave everything the way it is and click on save when you're finished. Once you've created a few products and customized them a little bit, the next step that we want to do is we want to create a set of crystallized access tokens. Now we need the set of access tokens in, in order to both create orders within the front end and also retrieve orders as they're created. So to do this, open up the navigation on the left hand side again and click on settings. Now click on access tokens. And then on the right hand side, you'll see a button to generate a new token. Click on that and give the token, the set of tokens, an alias of whatever you prefer. Click create and now make a note of both the token ID and the token secret, as they won't be shown again. Once you've made a note of these, we've got our crystallized uh, tenant all set up and we're now ready to go on to the next step, which is setting up Stripe. So as we're adding in Stripe as an example payment method in this video, we need to create a Stripe account and get some API keys for us to create sample payments and have them processed. So in order to do this, head on over to dashboard.stripe.com and you'll be prompted to either log in or create an account if you don't have one already. And once you're logged in, click on the developers section on the left hand navigation and then click on API keys. On this page, you'll be able to see both your publishable key, your Stripe publishable key, and your Stripe secret key. Now we need both of these uh, to create payment intents and process payments within our project. So make a note of these and we'll be using them when we set up our project next. So now that we've got both Stripe and our Crystallize access tokens good to go, we're now ready to go ahead and bootstrap our Crystallize project with React and Next.js. And to do this, we've created a CLI tool called Crystallize CLI, which can easily bootstrap a project by giving you a series of prompts uh, with a boilerplate uh, template that you can base your project off, as well as a, a number of integrations that will help you easily get started uh, integrating Crystallize with other services as well, such as Stripe. And so to do this, what we want to, what we want to do now is open up our terminal and head over to our projects directory or wherever you normally want to create your, your projects and run the command npx at crystallize slash cli space your project name. In this case, I'm calling mine test hyphen project. Running this command will download the CLI tool and present you with a series of prompts. The first one being, which shop would you like to use? In this case, because we've set up our own tenant, we're gonna go ahead and choose my very own tenant, please. Uh, doing this will prompt us to enter our tenant identifier which we set when we first created our tenant in Crystallize. Uh, you can enter yours here. I'm gonna use the teddy bear shop uh, as an example. Pressing enter there will then prompt you to 
choose which template you'd like to use. In this case, we want to use the Next.js with React template. Pressing enter here will prompt us then to choose which features we'd like to use, and we can we can use the spacebar to select and deselect uh, any of these features. In this case, in this example, because we'll be using Zite now for deployments, uh, we can uh, select this using the spacebar. If you choose not to use Zite now, you'll be given a an express server instead of now serverless functions, so you can host your own server instead. Uh, if you prefer that, you can do it that way, but in this example, we'll be using Zite now. And then we also want to check add payment methods for checkout. Pressing enter now will then prompt us to choose which payment methods we'd like to use. Currently, there are both uh, Stripe and Klarna examples available. Uh, in, in this example, we'll just select Stripe. Select Stripe and go ahead and press enter. Then we'll be prompted uh, whether we want to go ahead and configure our tokens and API keys now. Because we already have ours ready, we're going to go ahead and press yes. And then we'll be prompted to enter our crystallized access token ID, which you can just paste in from when we set it up before. Similarly, our crystallized access token secret, our Stripe publishable key, and our Stripe secret key. Pressing enter again, you may be prompted to uh, save these settings as default. Uh, you can choose whether you want to do that or not. Um, and this will go ahead and then clone uh, down a, a boilerplate repository and configure that by installing the dependencies and uh, configuring the tokens, etc., as we have specified through the prompts. Once this has been cloned, we're now ready to go ahead and start running our test project. So because we're using Zite now in this example, we need to install it globally. And you can do that by running npm install dash dash global now to download the now uh, CLI. And once you've done that, we can go ahead and navigate into our test project. And from there, we can just run now dev. And running now dev just sets up the now development server, which is just a nice and easy way for us to be able to make changes to our code, whether that be the front end side of things with React or the now serverless functions, and have them hot reload as we make our changes. So now that our development server is up and running, we can go ahead and go to localhost port 3000, or whichever host and port the terminal has told you. And going to that, that address, we can then preview our site in development. In this case, you can see on the homepage, this is a very simple mock-up of what an e-commerce site could be like. And it's using crystallized, it's fetching data from your crystallized tenant, populating uh, the list of products in the navigation, as well as showing you an example grid that you can replace with a grid ID of your own if you get to that point with your own store. Now, clicking into any of the products that you've created within your crystallized tenant, uh, you'll, be, you'll be able to see all the details of them rendered out on the front end here as separate pages. And you can go ahead and add one or two of them to the cart. I'm just gonna go ahead and add this uh, cuddly kiwi toy to, the, to my cart here. And I'll just add a few of these. And then now if we go to the checkout page by clicking on the checkout button, you can see that we have a, a, a section where we can choose Stripe as payment. And clicking on Stripe, it'll start off by creating a payment intent. We can enter some details here. I'm just gonna enter in some dummy details. Uh, for the credit card itself, you can use Stripe's 424242 repeated uh, card number and other details as the sort of default testing card. And filling these in and pressing on pay will then process the payment with Stripe. So you can check in the Stripe dashboard to see this go through. And then you'll be taken to the order confirmation page within our Crystallize uh, project here. And now if we go into Crystallize itself, you can also see this order has been reflected within Crystallize, within the product information management UI as well. If you go to the navigation on the left-hand side and then to the orders section of the uh, panel. So now that we have our project up and running in development mode, we want to demonstrate how easy it is to get our crystallized project to production using something like Zite Now. And so in this example, as I said, we'll be using Zite Now for deployments. So the first thing that we need to do to deploy our project is create an account with Zite. So to do this, head on over to zite.co slash now and create an account if you don't have one already. 
Now this can be a free account. And so now that we have an account, the next thing that we want to do is we want to log in to Zeit now via our terminal. So if you head back to your terminal and run the command now log in and enter the email that you've signed up to Zeit with and accept the confirmation that comes through to your email address. And now that we're logged in to uh, Zeit now on our terminal, we're now ready to deploy our project. Well, almost. The f before we can actually deploy our project, we first need to set some secret var variables. And these can be seen if you open up the code in the file now.json. You can see that there are, there's a section called env. This is specific to environment variables for our project. And any values that are aliased with an at symbol are actually now secret variables that we that, that we want to reference in production. And so any of these we need to set before we can actually deploy our project. And so in this case, based on the example, uh, the options that we've chosen when we've been using the crystallized CLI, uh, we chose to use um, Stripe for payment methods and we have crystallized for accepting orders. So this means the tokens that we need to set as secrets are our Stripe uh, secret key and Stripe publishable key, uh, our crystallize uh, access token ID and our crystallize access token secret. So we need to set these four variables before we can actually deploy our project to production to ensure that uh, payments will work and orders will be created uh, and retrieved correctly within production. So in order to set our environment variables within now, we want to run the command now secrets add and then the variable alias space the variable value and so in the case of our variables we want to run this four times the first one being for our crystallized access token id so we can run now secrets add crystallized dash access dash token dash id which is the alias name of our environment variable and then uh, space and then in quotes we can paste in the value for our access token id and then similarly we can do this with our crystallized access token secret we can do this with our Stripe secret key and our Stripe publishable key. Once you've set these, you can now go ahead and publish your project to now, or you can deploy it to now by running the command now. And you can simply do that within your project's directory. This will take a few seconds, maybe up to a minute to deploy your project. And doing so will then give you a URL at which your project has been deployed. You can add custom domains to your project later on to tailor them to your actual websites, but for now the domain that's been provided is where we can preview our website in production. So clicking on this will then open up our site and we can check that it's working by previewing the products as we did with the development version and uh, looking at the cart, checking it out, making sure the order is going through to Crystallize and the payment is going through to Stripe. And with that, we've successfully set up our store with Crystallize, we've created a tenant, we have created a project with Next.js and React, along with the payment methods uh, with Stripe, and we've deployed our project with Zite now in a matter of minutes. I hope you found this video informative and useful. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe, as we've got a lot more content coming out similar to this in terms of tutorials, more discussions about front-end performance, and a whole variety of other topics in stock as well. If you've got any questions, you can either comment on this video or reach out to us in our Crystallized Community Slack channel, link for which is in the description below, or on the Crystallized Learn website as well. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.